So let's go ahead and take a look at another 2D component. I'm going to go ahead and, well, we'll delete the mushroom for now. And I'm going to remove the hinge component from this um, plank because I want to just use this plank for something else. So let's see. We'll put the plank right here. And I'm going to leave the polygon collider on it. We'll add a compo component, physics 2D, and then we'll go ahead and add a slider joint. OK. I'm going to go ahead and move the connected anchor to, you know, right here. OK. Um, well, let's go ahead and just press play right now. We'll enable collision. OK. All right, so let's get our guy over there. So here's this plank, right? So if he hits it, see how it slides like that? Oh, whoops. Let me go ahead and move my branch over a bit there. OK. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Actually, we'll hop up on it, maybe. Oh, I can't reach it. But you see how it's, it's uh, sliding on its own in that direction? That's what a slider joint 2D does. But I'm sure you can think of something fun that you could do with this. OK, we'll go ahead and lower the connected anchor as well. Oops. I think that will work. All right. OK, so let's press play. OK, so a guy makes it over here. And he's going to jump up on here. OK, and see how he's kind of riding it now? All right, oh, it looks like it hit the, the branch end right there. But that's what a slider joint 2D does, or it's one of the things it does, OK? And if it's, you know, if you have the settings the way I do now, you actually can really kind of surf on it, all right? And so maybe you could set these all over the place and have a bit of an obstacle um, course in the sky or something like that for your character to go around. OK, so that's one thing you can do with a slider joint 2D. Another thing you can do, and I'm actually going to grab my character this time and put him right here so that we don't have to waste time jumping. Uh, I'm going to set this. Um, slider joint here to use motor all right okay and we'll set the motor speed to one all right and let's go ahead and press play okay as you can see oh it's moving on its own and it pushed me right over the edge maybe we should move it over just a touch huh all right uh, let's see here <laughs> we'll go like that okay so it wants to push me onto those spikes and so real quick i got to get up on that thing okay and then get off, all right? And so you can probably think of some neat things to do with some obstacles that work like this, all right? And as you notice, while it's pushing my the brick over the edge like that, yeah, it's actually interacting with other objects, OK? And of course, that's because we have Enable Collision on. OK, so let's go ahead and try something else here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We'll delete the branch. Or maybe we'll move the branch over here, like so. I'm going to grab the bridge. And we'll set the bridge right here in between these two objects. And we'll set its Z plane position to 1, so it's behind. All right. Now I have this uh, snail shell here. And we'll set the snail shell right here. All right, so add component. We want it to have a rigid body 2D, so it's affected by gravity. Let's go ahead and put a polygon collider on it. OK. And well, we obviously have to add a polygon collider onto our bridge. OK, so let's press play. And the shell should be coming down at us. So we have a shell, OK? All right. And we could put destroyers on those if we wanted to. But for now, I just wanted to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and move my spikes out of the way. OK, because I want this thing to fall down here. OK, and what I'm going to do is add this other script. And again, you can download this script. I'm going to add this reset object script. OK, and we're going to put that on. Well, let's go ahead and name it right now. Our shell. OK, I'm going to go ahead and name this uh, bridge as well. OK, nice to stay organized. OK. So I'm going to grab the reset object script and drag it onto the shell. What this script does is every time an object falls down here, it will then reset and fall again. OK, so let's go ahead and press play. OK, so down, see that? 
the object falls and then another object comes up and replaces it or resets and replaces it I should say so that's you know there's a lot of things you could do here you could just make obstacles that fall or um, maybe we'll go ahead and put a smaller one on okay so let's go ahead and uh, scale this down a little bit maybe we'll make a 0.5 okay all right and the z-plane doesn't even matter okay um, all right because we're in 2d so now that it's smaller it should be easy enough for our guy to jump one of these shells yeah okay now let's go ahead and add another component add another polygon collider but set this one to trigger okay go back to our scripts drag the destroyer script onto our shell okay and let's kill our guy to test this we'll just let him sit here okay so it kills our guy well for now it pauses okay so we have a destroyer script on here and let's see if he can jump this and he can jump it and then here comes another shell okay so the shells apparently are whatever poisonous shells okay there you have it a demonstration of a couple of the physics 2d components now with the little bit we've gone over there's actually a lot that we can do we have these repeating destroyers here these snail shells um, let's see we can use slider joint 2d's to move spikes around we can manipulate bridges and doors and hinges using the hinge joint 2d so what I'm going to do for the next video is I'm going to take some time and really set up a nice obstacle course here with you know lots of these destroyers and you know some trap doors and things like that but I'm only going to use the components that we've gone over so far um, and then in the next video I'll have a nice little obstacle course set up and we'll just keep exploring further options so I'll see you in the next video